Good morning and happy Sabbath, everyone. Today's lesson is about prayer, and more specifically, about the Lord's Prayer. That's the prayer that Jesus taught his disciples when they asked him to teach him how to pray. Now, as Christians, of course, prayer is an essential part of our everyday life because it is talking to God as to a friend, whether it's telling him our needs or expressing to him how we feel about him, telling about our daily lives, just sharing with each other through prayer. So, today's memory verse, our scripture verse, is actually a whole passage which is found in Matthew chapter 5, verses 9 through 13. So it's the whole entire the Lord's Prayer. And if you don't know it yet by heart, it is going to be our task through our craft today to memorize the Lord's Prayer. So I'm going to read it now, but you'll get a chance to memorize it as you are doing your craft. It is, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. And do not lead us into temptation, but deliver us from evil one. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. So today, when when you're doing your craft, um, I want to encourage you to memorize as you go, but not only memorize it, but share what each line of this Lord's Prayer means to you, to your mom, dad, brother, sister, so that we can understand more deeply what Jesus meant by this prayer as he was teaching us. So enjoy the rest of the day, enjoy the craft and the songs, and uh, as we wrap up, I would like to invite us for a prayer right now. Dear Jesus, thank you so much for looking after us and keeping us safe this week. As we learn more about you, please help us to share what we learn with others. In Jesus' name, amen. Morning Parkside Kids, I hope you're having a wonderful Sabbath day so far. Now this song that we're going to sing simply says, it's a great thing to praise the Lord, to love the Lord, thank the Lord, and to serve the Lord. So enjoy as we sing together. It's a great thing to praise the Lord. It's a great thing to praise the Lord. It's a great thing to praise the Lord. Walking in the light of the Lord, oh yeah. Walk, 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 walk in the light. Walk, 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 walk in the light. Walk, 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 walk in the light. Walking in the light of the Lord. It's a great thing to love the Lord. It's a great thing to love the Lord. It's a great thing to love the Lord. Walking in the light of the Lord. Oh yeah. Walk, walk, walk. Walk in the light. Walk, walk, walk. Walk in the light. Walk, walk, walk. Walk in the light. Walking in the light of the Lord. great thing to thank the Lord. It's a great thing to thank the Lord. It's a great thing to thank the Lord. Walking in the light of the Lord. Oh yes. Walk, walk, walk. Walk in the light. Walk, walk, walk. Walk in the light. Walk, walk, walk. Walk in the light. Walking in the light of the Lord It's a great thing to serve the Lord It's a great thing to serve the Lord It's a great thing to serve the Lord 
Walking in the light of the Lord Oh yeah Walk, walk, walk Walk in the light Walk, walk, walk Walk in the light Walk, walk, walk Walk in the light Walking in the light of the Lord Oh yes Walk, walk, walk Walk in the light Walk, walk, walk Walk in the light Walk, walk, walk Walk in the light Walking in the light of the Lord Walking in the light of the Lord Walking in the light of the Lord Alright, so I hope you really enjoyed that song And remember as you go through the week To walk with the Lord To praise the Lord Because it's a great thing to serve the Lord Alright, see you next time Bye craft today uh, we're going to do praying hands and uh, they're gonna look like this so just like when we pray we'll hold our hands like this sometimes um, so we're gonna do this and inside the praying hands we're going to have the Lord's Prayer written out to help us memorize it so let's get started with this craft for our craft today we're going to need a one sheet of paper. If you have a little thicker one than basic one, it's a little bit better, but whatever you have. Some colors. Importantly, uh, make sure that the colors don't see through onto the other side easily. So either thicker paper or maybe not permanent markers, but just a bit more simpler colors and highlighters like I have here. Uh, we'll need scissors and you'll need your Bible so that you can open to Matthew 6, three through 13, and we're gonna use a pen, a basic pen, to write down the verse onto our craft. So let's get started. So to start with, grab your white sheet of paper and fold it in half. Okay, just nicely in half. Okay, and now uh, turn the sheet towards yourself to where the folded edge is on your uh, left hand side and close it down and put your left hand hand on the edge of the paper and you could switch it around if you're left-handed you might want to do it like that with your right hand so that uh, your your dominant hand is free to cut and uh, and uh, draw with but for me I'm gonna put this edge here and because because I'm right-handed so I'm gonna put my left hand on this paper and I'm gonna match this finger a little bit with the folded edge but I'm gonna til tilt it a little bit I want this finger to come off a little bit as well and right about here towards the bottom of the page and I'm gonna grab a pencil and I'm gonna outline my fingers now uh, because this is gonna be praying hands you can uh, keep your hand fully fold it in and just have fingers like that. You can spread your fingers a little bit. It's gonna be a little bit more work cutting it out. I'm gonna put it like this uh, because I wanna make it like a praying hand. So grab your pencil and do the outline. And after you've done the outline, go ahead and cut it out, which I'm gonna do on fast forward while I'm gonna let you do yours as well. So here's my cutout, and when I fold it, I get my praying hands like this. Just like when we pray, often we hold our hands like that and then open them up to God in heaven. So this is what I got. And, and each one of yours will be a little different, just depending on the size and the shape of your hand, which is beautiful. And what we're gonna do now, we're gonna use these folding hands to help us memorize the Lord's Prayer. So what I'll do first now, I'm gonna write on top of this hand, I'm gonna use my thumb as to where to write it. I'm gonna use a pen, I'm gonna write where the Lord's Prayer is found in the Bible. And does anybody know where it's found? It is found in Matthew. So I'm gonna abbreviate Matthew chapter six, verses nine 
through 13. So Matthew 6, verses 9 through 13. Um, and when I unfold my hands now inside, I'm gonna turn it this way so I can write more easily. I'm going to go ahead and write, break down the Lord's Prayer into 10 uh, lines or 10 fingers. Now you can uh, write it out differently, but I'm gonna go ahead and write it out. So our Father in heaven, praised be your name or hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil for yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. So I'm gonna go ahead and abbreviate somewhat. I'm gonna write out the Lord's Prayer across all the fingers. I'm gonna let you do the same or you can wait for me to finish and then copy exactly the lines the way I did it. If you need help uh, with somebody else, uh, to write things down, go ahead and have have them help you. But see if you can remember and tell them what to write. So that way you're memorizing prayer while they're writing it out for you. All right, I'm gonna put it on fast forward again. Okay, I hope uh, you finished yours by now. And here it is, I have our Father in heaven. Praise be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. So here's the Lord's Prayer. And um, I kind of put dots for every line uh, so that if I forget how it goes, I can just quickly look it up and see which line I forgot. And now the only thing left is really, you can decorate uh, whichever side you want, but you can totally decorate the hand. Uh, and I'm gonna decorate it with colors that are not totally see-through onto the other side easily. And I'm gonna put it on fast forward again and then uh, our craft will be done. So go ahead and have fun with that. So here is my praying hands, and uh, here are my praying hands, and yours probably looks quite a bit different, which is perfectly fine. So I colored it like this, and on the other side I just put Amen, and inside I have the Lord's Prayer that makes it easy to remember and memorize it. I hope you enjoyed it, and go ahead and um, test each other and see how well you know the Lord's Prayer. God bless you guys. Have a good day. We're now going to sing one of my favorite songs, Go Tell It on the Mountain. And I want you all to get up from your seats and get involved as we sing this song together. Go Tell It on the Mountain.
power that held our Savior's birth. Go tell it on the mountain, over the hills and everywhere. Go tell it on the mountain that Jesus Christ is born. Christmas morn. Don't tell it on the mountain, over the hills and everywhere. Don't tell it on the mountain that Jesus Christ is born. That Jesus Christ is children. I hope you enjoyed singing that song as much as I did. Have a lovely day.